So I'm in a beautiful Chinese, wherever the fuck this is called, on the, I don't know what river this is. So this is in Thailand, isn't it? Northern Thailand. One thing you man who are not from the trap have to understand, let's get the lemons, is that people that I've met while traveling, especially Copan Gang, Joe people, what they don't understand is they don't understand the consequences of non-verbals. We're animals. So anytime you check someone, be very careful. If you don't know who this person is, someone like me, you can sense power. Other people can't sense power. And a lot of people, like for example, this happened to me today in KFC, yeah. Basically there's a bit of a line in KFC, not too long. And a you, he's in, he goes in line before me, okay. And then the you asks, you know, you, like he, he gives me his place and I say no. But I'm a good guy, ain't it? I'm still a 100% driller, you best believe, but on a driller. But what I'm referring to is these people are stupid, like they check the wrong people. Like what, this two checks happened to me today. That G check, or yes a, yes a war check, I'll call it war check, WC. Is, I'm at 7-Eleven, yeah, and I, you must have came across these old people, just dickheads, people have horrible shit life. And then all I am, is I'm close in this personal space to um, give the, I'm quick, I want them to get my money. I, I go just over the counter, saying like the discrepancy between me and him is like there's no comparison in it. and that's why I'm saying stand back stand back for me I, I can I easily 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 destroy him yeah. so I'm saying be careful you check there's good man out here bro hood man traveling trust me and some of them are not gonna be the relaxed cut you from the wire so hood man some of them are gonna be Ibiza, yeah. And I know it's the black man quality. They were killers. Hit men. They had they had uh, tattoos on their face. They were hitters. You can put on their hitters. Obviously, I know they don't hold it. I know they're hitters. I know the trap. I know. I know. I don't have them over here. I know they're here. That's for sure. So if you cross paths with them, the whole squad, to end your life. And, and there's a reason I say white boys go missing on lampposts. That's one of my bars. Because the white man who go missing in Cold Town, the murder island, yeah? You know what happens to them? They done some stupid shit. The Thai gangsters, i.e. island, killed them. They have this very similar code to me. So if they seen some shit, some unexpected shit that they deem past their line, they don't care. You know what I mean? They're in collaboration with the police. So what I'm saying is be careful, you don't know who someone is. And again today, stupid Thai guy, yeah. Maybe I can somewhat understand him. He's still stupid, it's the way you go about it. I have KFC every day, I'm KFC gang, you know. And there's six wings. And I just leave the box with the six wings uneaten. And then he goes up to me, he's looking, I look at him, I'm sitting down here, and he's like, don't leave it like that, it's not our clean hair. Obviously I'm doing this because the dogs they run the dog and they're gonna eat that shit, cats gonna eat that shit. So it's not a waste. But it's the manner you go about. Because I will I annihilate this guy it's so easy. Some people don't care, they're stupid here. You don't understand like this is why you come to Medellin, because they're stupid people. They might see some G-check and like just kill you out of nowhere. But what I'm saying is from the track is a blessing because it's what life really is, we're animals. In a, a non-verbal in a trap like that, you can knock the fuck out. You know what I mean? The amount of times I've seen in the trap, like one guy by himself, he was like the victim of the school, got beaten up, you know, 15 times at least, because it's the consequences. Every time you see violence. The perfect example I can give you 
is I have like these shoes, you know, barefoot shoes, yeah? And I put them on and initially they're hard. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's hard. Like it felt uncomfortable, yeah? And then I put them on, I like realize that it's a beetle in the shoe. And I'm like, what? I literally dunked the beetle on the floor. I booted the beetle like maybe 20 feet. Like I just blasted it. Like, you know, it pissed me off. I did it instantly. And then there were two men who looked, one guy, he looked like, he didn't give a fuck about what I did. He just looked, he, he was English done here. He ran up, he's like, oh, that's a beetle. He was like, uh, surprised. He was, he was, oh, it's a beetle. The other Don, I assume he was like Russian joke, man. It was the realization that, you know, life is really like that, ain't it? I think it's the first time he saw violence in his life. But I'm saying in the trap, you've seen it all the time. Like, I saw this guy, the one guy victim of school got fucked up. I saw him decked on the floor. I seen him my whole life, innit? it? But it's not normal. But it is normal. It is normal, really. So the point of this is never disrespect for someone. So again, Jack Harlow, man, his name is, yeah. Obviously, when he moved and he's trying to make it like a big thing, moving to that girl in the north, that white man, I'll show you the body language. The, hopefully, that's going to happen anyway to my camera. That white man here, obviously, he's standing he's like this. You see the difference. He, you have to be careful. You can't be stupid. You can't be stupid moving to Gallium, you know? Me, I can fit, you know what I mean? I'm like, John Wick in it, no cap. But if you're not aware, like that guy was, he was, he was about it, you know? Like if he, you don't know who this girl is. You don't know if that's his, her ex. You don't know if, you have no idea. So you gotta have to be careful sometimes. Like you gotta read the room in it. You gotta be smart. Because that guy, like I'm telling you, his body language, that's not something to commend. Like that guy was like, he was like, what? Like he was like, he was not some dickhead, you know? I know that, but just by body language, he ain't some joke, man. You don't make you a big man to move to a gal when he could easily neck kick you, kill you. He could. If he was a road, some road man German, they were like, fuck this guy. He would have just boop, you know what I mean? They don't care. Some people don't care. I'm saying, when you're traveling, be aware of this. You don't know, even me, if you don't know my presence, I'm a super nice guy, yeah. Obviously, the hood does come out. I'm a super nice guy. Copan gang, I'm not gonna get into this story, but this guy, he just done some stupid shit, and he's lucky he didn't get slapped up. But the guy for me, Loud and shit. I don't like that boobity boobity boob. Where I lived in China, fam. They did that. They busted, they were busting fireworks in the middle of the day. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? Who get the work? Like, it was so loud. I miss China, you know, I like China. But the point of this video is be careful. You don't know who someone is. We're animals. Don't forget that. Don't fucking forget that. Again, like and subscribe. Join the Warrior Club. I don't know if I'm cool it Genghis Khan Gang. I might call it the Genghises. That's like the top tier where. You know, you want to be a complete Genghis. And obviously we have different tiers if you want to know how to defend yourself, blah, blah, blah. But the Genghis is, whoever you are, book a call down link in the description or a pinned comment and we can get you patterned and save your life good here. Thailand, like and subscribe and samurai.